Hey up everyone, and welcome back to the north for another episode of Battle Brothers Legends on Legendary Difficulty. We are picking up straight where we left off at the end of the last episode. We've just destroyed the Goblin City. Just as a note, there has been an official update for the actual vanilla game, so Overhype have released another update. It's a very small one. Um, fortunately, it hasn't broken any of the mods from what I can tell, so we're not going to have an absolute wipe like the Chodes last time. So that's a nice surprise. A surprise, but a welcome one. Um, I've tested like a few of my saves as well from like other games that I've been playing on the Legends mod as well. They all seem to be working, so there might be a few people that have a few issues with the mods. Um, I'd probably just keep an eye and just wait for the actual mod creators to update them as it goes because they can't react as quickly as the actual creators of the games. But fortunately in this case, I think I've gotten pretty lucky. So I'm going to take that in stride and we're going to get a move on. Uh, I'm going to get back to civilization because we are blowing through money quite a bit and we need to recover and so on and so forth. Um, I don't... I wasn't going to get involved in the late game crisis, but I kind of want to get our money back into a pretty healthy position, mainly because we've just blown for it whilst being out here. We haven't really taken an actual contract contract in a very long time, and the, having that amount of money has really helped us just let us go and do what we want, which has been nice. It's been, it's been very freeing, but I think um, it'd be nice just to get that back up to a healthy number again so we can just go back out into the wild and do loads of other stuff. Like the Sunken Library, like the Witch's Hut, like the EG Rock, like the ugh, Black Monolith. What's this? Who's this? Who's who's approaching me? And why are you taking so long to? Who are you? Fifty? <laughs> no, that is not how I want to start this episode. That'd be a very long fight. Jesus. Also, you're taking away all my FPS, mate. Go away. On the way back, I did see like a massive orc encampment. I actually fully expected there to be way more orcs in here than what was suggested. Like it's a huge tense place. I did see some feet walking out of it, so I imagine they might have sent out a patrol, which might have made this grouping a little bit smaller. Let's just say that patrol is not going to be a happy camper when they come back home and find that it has been burned to the ground, baby. All right, let's get started. Let's have a, let's stretch our legs. Um, there might be something good in here because there is a few uh, hard orc enemies. I don't think there's actually any champions. It's just like a, lot, a few behemoths, uh, a warlord at least. I think there's an elite unless he left with the, the other group. I'm not sure. But uh, we should hopefully be able to steamroll these guys. Fingers crossed, we'll see. Also, I know we had a conversation about who to, who's going to wear the Emperor's countenance. I think that's what it's called. A few people said Zygna, a few people said Caspian. I know that Caspian will make sense because he's like the de facto right-hand man of Rangveld, basically. Um, but because of the way the helmet works with reflecting 25% of damage taken in melee... Caspian's melee defense is really good, so he's not going to get hit that much, so it's not going to be as useful. Whereas Zygna gets hit a hell of a lot more, and we're aware of that. So I think we're going to get more use out of it with him. We'll see what happens. It's going to be experimental. It's not like it's grafted to his face now forever, you know? You want to just go there and start? I think you do, Darth. I think you do. Same with you, buddy. Let's see how well that goes. I, I, guess, I guess I should jump in. Screw it. If not, why not? What's your your? Ah, oh, it's just Corgat. You have a more interesting name, man. We see we see millions of Corgats. It's like the John of Orcs. Okay, yeah, there is there is an Orc elite down south, and there's two Behemoths coming in. Oh, sorry, no, there's three Behemoths coming in. All right, this might not be the walk in the park I was actually expecting. It might be a little bit spicier. Start on that guy, I guess. Whatever damage you can do, it's always a good start. I mean, it's not a northern sling, so, you know, it's fine. This one's a northern sling, though. Man, it does so much damage. Uh, can you go down one and fire? Good show. Good show, old chap. Okay. Russ, get ready to go in there. Zygna, sorry, RTM, get ready to pop off. We've got to start slapping. And slapping fast. Let me tell you. Slap and slap fast. I'll take it. Uh, David, I don't quite know. Keep making life hard for the old behemoth. Make him be really sad so he wants to run away. We love that. Oh, you're kind of in the way now, aren't you? You get him throw? You can't. Man, Knight Rider. The dodging. Very impressive. 
Good throw. Bad throw for you. Okay, we're down to basically his health. That's that's a good start. If we're gonna straight up kill one of them, the others might just, you know, leave. And fast. Slamu! Slamu. Uh Artyom. Oh, he's not dead. He's probably feeling it though. I'd like to think. What's that, night five? Sure. You know what, Bayard, switch to that. It's gonna be a little bit better to do so. Let's power up you. I do not feel sorry for any of you. Goodbye. Hmm. Kind of attracted some attention there. Huh? Whew! Those two warriors did not know what hit them, literally. Right, you're gonna waste a bit of time by going round, that's fine. Same with you. I can actually just round swing with Knight Rider now, so... Yeah? Fine. I think that's fine. Nice one, Rust. Clear them up. Set them up, knock them down. Not with a 95% miss, we won't. Oh, boy. Right, that's another one rinsed. Don't stop shooting that thing. Only stop shooting that thing when it's dead. That's the only time you should stop shooting it. Uh-oh. Okay, good. You didn't hit Aureldus. Please don't hit Aureldus. Thank you, bone plating. Do me a solid, thank you. That thing's basically dead. It's running anyway, so I don't need to worry about it. What I do need to worry about is the rest of this hodgepodge mess. Oi! Those things are sharp, you know. Whew. Don't you know it. Dickheads. Alright, cats, I keep it up, buddy. Let's go this way. Okay, a slight damage got in, don't worry. Wow, I mean, if any orc wasn't scared before, they really should be now. Like, straight up should be. Like, I'd be. Ah, uh, buddy, that's better. Don't worry, you've got this. I believe in you. Sorry, Barry. You've had worse. On that, we can agree upon. You've had worse. Just don't lose the finger again. Although, if you lose the prosthetic finger, it's not the end of the world, because you can just, like, you know, literally just reattach it. Like, where's the harm there? <laughs> uh, push up. Ow! You, sir, are a problem. You're less of a problem. Mate. It didn't really go down or do anything when I said that, did it? That's kind of disappointing. Keep firing. Uh, hammer out, start slamming. I mean, it's pretty big. I'm kind of surprised you missed it that much, honestly. Okay, fine. It's all right, don't worry. Man, that's a lot of armor. Make it run. Make it run. Not this time. Not this time. All right, so the Orc Elite is the real problem then. I guess. So we've got to go deal with that, like, now, if we could. Especially for Dorf's health, more than anything. I guess you could maybe, like, you can survive for a bit, and I hope you can. I might be able to resolve this a little bit. Although Orc Elites have actually a pretty damn decent uh, resolve compared to all their friends, who usually don't. How are you doing for health? Like, you're okay. Can you at least make one of them route? That'd be the most ideal situation, really. 
Okay, great dodging. Needed that, obviously. Nice. Man, Korga, you've got some health, haven't you, buddy? Can you, like... Yeah, they're immune to that, aren't they? Oh, bro. Not yet. Don't die yet. Okay, both behemoths are running. Problem solved for that. Here comes the next problem. I don't know how to swing him out. Damn. Surprisingly hard to fight when I was expecting for the first fight of the day. Honestly. This was not in my uh, scorecard of Darth might die. But he's not invulnerable at the end of the day. He is still a man with fists. Come on, buddy. Don't die. It's been a good run. I don't need to die yet. Come on. Maybe don't. Okay, fine. I have a small idea. I don't know if it's going to work, though. Like, it kind of works, but the Orkali is still very much there. I mean, you just set yourself up to fail there, buddy. I don't know what you're doing with that. Right, he's running at least. You need to chill out. As do you. Right. Ah, oh, Zigner, if only you had the old uh, swish and flick, but you don't. I think this is going to be a problem. I think Darth might go down. Darth, do you already have a permanent injury? Shit, you do. Okay. Good luck. That was a 95 percent miss. Darth is down. He's not dead, though. He's down. Man. Crazy first fight. I was expecting this to be like a walk in the park. Imagine if we actually fought this when the entire group was here. That'd be crazy. All right, time for a bit of revenge. Which, I mean, stop missing 95s. But that's what I always mean when I say it's time for some revenge. Stop missing 95s. There you go. Got him eventually. Nice one. Go chase him down. Don't let him get away. Right, you're running. Great stuff. Get into a good line of fire, please. I don't think you're hitting there, but you could come up here and start helping with that. How are we second, will you? Ah, Gregory. You might have some more uh, things to fix after this fight, but to be fair, we'll see. Okay, at least he's not confident anymore. But he does have last stand. Are you running? Good. I say running. Dying as painfully as possible. Just like you. Okay. Somebody get Darth up from his feet. Let's hope he's not missing like a hand or something. I don't know what missing a hand would affect a melee fighter. I assume it would affect them quite a lot. Right, I'm going to... I'm going to chase this guy down. I'm going to chase this guy down. This guy has got so little health left. Someone please just seal the deal. We weren't to get killed by ranged, would you, you son of a bitch? Secret goblins in the skies. No way, I'm not that. That'd be disgusting. How you doing, buddy? Oh, he's brain damaged. Um, okay. That could be worse. Um, it's kind of bad in terms of the initiative penalty, because initiative is based on his damage. So... His damage in general is going to go down, but you do already have quite high damage anyway. So I guess I can just beef your initiative up for every single level going forwards, which... And if there is any perks I can take down the road that will increase that. So, could be worse. Oh, obviously, it could be better because, you know, we could have not got killed. Oh, really? It wasn't like a single fame thing here for all of that. It was just Thurs and some black pain. All right. Before I forget, because I've been a little bit of a dum dum. Because when we've been playing Legends, I've been like, "Oh yeah, inventory space counts on just the guys that we have, and so and so forth." For some reason, my brain just forgot that I could just do this. There we go. <laughs> what have we got now? Two hundred space. Perfect. I mean, I just threw out like loads of the goblin stuff anyway. Because why would I bother with something so disgusting? Uh, let's see what we could do. Plus two is not great, but it would would boost you anyway. I think I'll leave it on that. 
Um, plus four. Let's give you a teeny tiny bit more health because you might end up dropping into the line slightly. Plus five, that'll do. Got 104 range to go at level nine. You are Krozak 2 in the making. I'm not complaining. I need to figure out what perks to give you, though. Muscularity would be whatever. I guess it'd be 45 to 68. It's not particularly a bad thing. I might do that. Muscularity is never bad. We're getting back. Everyone's a little bit better off now. I mean, other than our boy Darth, who's slowly on the mend. God, he's on one health. Uh, no wonder he can only do 6 to 28 currently. Unfortunately, I don't think brain damage is one thing that Grigori can fix. He uh, he rep replaces limbs, not uh, parts of the brain. He can't make a small machine which goes into the missing brain part to then, you know, help fix that. We don't even have that in modern society currently. Not that I'm aware of, anyway. Um, right, so let's get to Kaltenberg and sell all this crap off and make some money back. We need to make some, sell some, uh, sorry, lose some money by getting a upgrades for cart, but it's worth it anyway. Uh, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. 55? Ah, oh, I mean gyps. Alright, well, I'm not doing that one there. I'll keep those for another place, thank you very much. I'm just going to sell everything very quickly. I'll see how much we'll run after this. Alright, I got I got about 8 grand out of it. I also did end up buying a few more tools just to offset us slightly in that regard. And I will sell these in another place. Uh, I checked for some more fame stuff. I am actually, I know I might not be showing up, but every time I go into a settlement, I am checking for more fame stuff to replace everyone's gear. Because I know a lot of people still don't have, like, famed items for their weapons. And I would like to have some before we go and do more of the legendary locations. We could probably still do them, it's just a nice little help, you know? The only famed item here is the Honed Harbinger, which, to be fair, it's pretty cool for damage, but nobody uses two-handed axes. Uh, well, we do, but not ranged two-handed axes. So in this case, I'm going to say no bueno on that one, unfortunately. Um, okay, well, what have they got here? And is it a really, 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 really expensive one? Retrieve the artifact from exposed mass grave to the south. It is nine grand. Hmm, I don't know. I'm really looking for, like, a super-duper contract, you know? Like a four-skull, powerful... Give me 30k contract. I know they only come around like once in a blue moon, but that's my aim to find one today. And in the interim, maybe do like one other, you know, just to boost this back up. And also, get us to an invincible renown. What are we on? So on 6154, we need to get to 8,000. So doing contracts will be the way to do that, really. So let's get cracking, I guess, for the day. This random guy just kind of walked out on me on the woods, and I'd be like, well, I was originally going to go do like some contracts, but there is a champion here, so I mean, I'd be remiss not to go and kill this champion. It does say Headhunter, so maybe his range... Although he looks more like a Sword Mastery person, so Headhunter might also mean Sword Master. I guess we're about to find out the hard way. Just give me something I can use, please. Oh, uh, he's a ranged... Well... I don't think his bow is. His bow looks just like a... Well, I guess we'll see, won't we? I legit don't know. No, I still can't tell. Just from that shot, I was like, maybe I can tell by what, what his bow is doing. Not really. Ouch. Looks like it hurt. I'm glad to report that it hurt. Uh, let's see. Brigham Raider 83. 69. Mm, less nice. All right. Oh. Okay. I'm not going to read too much into that yet. Well, you must see that your range is weaker than ours, even though you've got more ranged people. Quantity does not mean quality all the time. Yeah, all right, fine. I tried to teach you. I tried to learn you. I guess you only. I guess I can only learn you the hard way. But I'll learn you. I mean, you tried to shoot like the man with one of the highest range defense. I don't know what you were playing at, mate. Oh, you seen that we've left? We've kind of left us hanging out, eh? Maybe that was on purpose. Maybe you should have thought about that. Maybe your tactics are whacked, mate. Okay, well. Have fun getting murdered. Not us. Guns hard the nightmare. I don't see it. And Renos the Ark. Who are these guys? Um, alright. Where did you decide to pop out of? Alright, well, if it's a fight you want, it's a fight you're gonna get, mate. And I thought this was the real deal. It's actually just some other guys instead. Okay. Please don't die, Zygna. Can we get some flail back up, please? The flail team are going in. Oh, Jesus Christ, that looked painful. Happy to report that it probably did. It probably was very painful. That's one. Or another one. I mean, you could you could do that, but... 14%. Alright, fine. Alright, maybe not. Fine. Come on, then. Let's go. We'll give them... We'll be nice enough to them for a while. Wow. Nice in parentheses. Okay, let's go. 
Rock and roll. Ah, oh, you missed the 91. Why be spurched when you like that? I give you a nice helmet and everything, man. Come on, wake up. Wake up, please. Oh, damn. Look, if you weren't scared by that, I mean, fair enough, that's, you know, you've got some balls. Ouch. Well, Gunsard. Maybe the nightmare was the friends you made on the way. And by the way, we're not your friends, so. Oh, mate, come on now. This guy is so lucky. So lucky. Don't worry, it's just a bit of a tickle. Learn to dodge, buddy. Ooh, nice one, Talos. There goes the hound, unfortunately. Such is life. Well, and death. Okay. There it is. Who needs to dodge when he just slams back like that? Slamu. And he's got flail backup. Flail backup is always good backup. Nice. Just cut through this guy. He doesn't mean anything. Just like so. Actually, you know what? Really gain on him. Really gain on him. Ooh. Hey, uh, Barat. Maybe you're not as much of a headhunter as you think you are. I mean, you haven't even hunted any heads yet. Oh, yeah. I somehow always still forget about that. Bye, Gunsard. I think you met your real nightmare today. And it was not yourself. Don't... Don't hit Torfin. He's never done anything wrong to you. There you go. It's a little bit better. That man is going to bleed out of all of his holes. So, he's dead. I mean, you're doing him a favor by killing him. Instead of letting him get eaten by a zombie. So, you know, you just put him out of his misery more than anything. Are you okay? Are you, are you okay today, Krozak? I don't know if you are. I'm a little bit worried. Uh, who gets to go? Who gets the power? It's Quack, why not? Nice try. Uh, can you stop him from running away? Yeah, I'll do it. That'll do it. Bonk. God, Renost. Are you sure? Ox is really the right thing we should be calling you. Turning tail and running. Doesn't seem like a very ox thing to do, does it? Right, we gotta go get this guy then, I guess. And fast. Ah, oh, you would get back up, wouldn't you? Scumbag. Hiya. What? What was that? <laughs> I... Okay. That was weird. I'm a little bit taken aback by his movement. Like, what the, what the hell were you... You could have freed him and moving yourself out of a different area, you know? Okay. That's that's fine. If that's the life you've chosen to die brutally, then all right. I mean, technically, I can't stop you. And if anything, I appreciate your candor for actually trying to fight Zygna. Especially when we're doing damage to him instead. <laughs> Accidentally. Not really. Uh... Power up. Although, yeah, Renard's gone. Alright then. Let's go. No, there's a zombie here, isn't there? Like, I don't know what you're playing at, mate. Zombie be gone. We don't have time for you in this fight just yet. We're not at that point in the in this uh, episode. Not that we will actively. Well, saying that, most of the four score contracts that we are looking for probably will be for the undead today. That's just probably a bit of a fact, isn't it? I mean, you just pushed him into combat, so that's kind of fine. But please, stay down and don't get back up. Oh, you went you went for... Oh, you went... Oh, he's the weakest link. I'll go for him. Nah, 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 nah. He ain't the weakest link by any means. Thank you very much. Nice one, Quack. 22 kind of sucks, though. 23 still kind of sucks, though. Okay, don't worry about it. What's that? 69? I don't want to accidentally smash smash Ruth's face in. Ah, oh, woof. Alright. 
Chill out. Slightly better. Not bad. There we go. Right. Climbing. Everybody climbing. Kill this man. I mean, he's not going anywhere now. God, he's still confident. Really? God, stunned. Lost his hat. I mean, losing his hat's probably not the worst thing that's happened to him all day, but I'm just sort of, like, listing all the bad things that just happened to him. Like, you can't go on this turn, mate, and I don't think you're ever going to get a turn ever again. Ever again. All right, steal the deal, please. Stunned for two turns, what can I say? Who's going to get the kill? Anyone? Anyone at all? Hey, Talos got it, and you know what? It's well-deserved, Talos. Good job, buddy. Good job. Anyone level up? No need to level up. Uh, so what was it that he had? It was the bow, right? Okay, it wasn't like... I mean, that looks kind of cool. I mean, it's just regular armor put together, but the drip on it's pretty cool. Um, Yeah, it's a big meh. Just additional chance to hit and damage ignore. So, I mean, I'll take it, but I'll probably just sell it. It is always nice to kill more champions, though, just to take them off the board permanently. Let's get to Oberg and sell some stuff, recover a little bit, and then I'll see what contracts they have. Okay, a bit of a better position in terms of money. Like, we didn't really take too much damage in that fight either, so there's not much to recover. But are you ready for how many contracts this place has? Are you ready? It's zero. <laughs> Let's see what they've got in terms of their... Nothing, and a whole lot of... Nothing. Oberg, you're a disappointment. I'll be grabbing my beer to go, thank you very much. Okay, not much luck so far, which is actually quite disappointing, to be honest. Uh, I've repaired everyone up now. Darth is now finally recovered. His damage has taken a slight tick due to his brain damage, but not as much as I thought it might have. So, eh? Like, it was 70, so it's now 63, so it's 7 less. It's like 10% less, which is not great, but hey, at least he won't run away as much. That's something, right? His uh, melee defense has taken a knock as well, because obviously he had dodge, which took into account his initiative. So I'm just going to have to really pump it back up. Maybe um, Grigori could fix his main foot by, you know, decapitating said foot and replacing it with a slightly better foot. That could work. Come on, Grigori. Be the MVP once again. The people need you. Well, Darth needs you. Okay, not quite the three score, four score contract I was looking for, but it's nine grand and I've just walked from all the way up here all the way down here and not even joking every single town had no contracts not even like some crap contracts they just had no contracts so I'll take a three score contract uh with it being so expensive I imagine either these witches might be a little bit more powerful or they might be bringing in some more powerful mates to go and help them out which I'm fine with if they bring some legendary beasts as long as it's not like you know a stall worm actually I've never seen a witch bring in a stall worm not yet I don't want to see it <laughs> thank you very much Okay, so whilst coming in here, I did see that there was a Redback Spider and a Hex Coven Leader. Now, in every single fight we've fought with a Hex Coven Leader before, the game has softlocked and we haven't been able to move. So it'll be really interesting if it does work. Because when it gets to the Coven Leader's turn, it usually just stops permanently. Well, that's just a Hex. So if the other one would like to show up, please, and show us that it's working, that'd be great. Pretty close. You throw that far. Oh, <laughs> maybe come back a little bit. Come back a little bit. All right, well, that's one kissy kissy face dealt with. Uh, Torsten, just like, go hide here. Go over there, buddy. I don't see her. I guess that's fine. Okay, that's the hex leader, and she just moves. I think. I think. By doing that fresh install not too long ago, I think that has kind of helped a bit. I hope. I pray. That might mean that the uh, the witch hut might actually be fine now, depending. Guess we'll see. Uh, I can't throw that far, can I? Well, actually, why not? Ugh, get away, you mossy bastard. Right. You want to try and seal that deal a bit? Not quite yet. That's all right. Let's move up around the tree slightly. I think there was only one... I think there was only a Hex and a Coven Leader. So the Coven Leader is the last one to deal with, technically. Um, we just need to, you know, deal with it. The best way we know how. Although the Redback Spider could be a slight issue, but... We've dealt with worse? We've dealt with many a... We've, met, we've dealt with many a Redback Spider. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, this is all of them. This is all of them. Alright. 
I'm into it. Don't get eaten. Don't get your fingers crushed. Ah, the, the cost. The cost of repairing from this is going to be... Ugh. We'll see. Shooting the... Coven leader would be ideal, but I don't know how much stronger she is compared to a naturalist hex. She's a hex girl. Or, you know, something. Just shoot it. Thanks. Oh, not where I thought you were going to go. Right. Excuse me? That's a thing? Okay. Not what I was expecting. Interesting. Move up one throw. You're going to slowly make your way up. Torsten, just go to the side of the map, man. Nobody cares. Nobody cares about you. I'm sorry. Well, maybe someone does. Well, evidently your, your father does, because that's why he's paying us all this money. Uh, you've probably got this, right? He's probably got this. I mean, even if you did take control of him, he wouldn't be able to do that much. He would have to change to his weapon to then deal with that problem, and then he would have run out of... Yeah, that was dumb of you. Which? Uh, get him out. No, no, get him out. Thank you. Oh, there is a spitter. There's a spitter right there. Right, go on, Hedmon, go on. Destroy the witch. Purge the witch. Uh, or any of them, like, kind of. Can you go? Oh, mate, just learn to die. Don't eat me. You dick. What did I just say? Don't chew your mouth open. Okay. Not a terrible start. I'll say that. Stunned the spider. You love to see it. Let's get there and reload. That's now just a 20% chance, so I'll take it. Uh, you can start shooting this now. I mean, I'm... I'm noticing it. It's very weird. It's it's very cool that it's actually helping me... Uh... Oh, man. David. Good job. Right. Once again, slow move up one. Can you throw it yet? Not yet. Definitely use the damage there. Torsten, go hide in that bush, will you? You're of no, you're of no used to no one there. Literally no one. That's a lot of blood. I mean, there's a lot of blood inside this whole tank. This 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 unhold can fit so much blood in it. Right. Who's next? Twelve turns, thirteen turns, eleven turns. Sure. You're not dead. Oh. Wow. A sapling was scared. You were you were only born like five minutes ago, man. You have no idea what it means to be scared in the real world yet. Try and enjoy your life first, eh? Great blocking. Big old whiff. Well, that's one. Ooh, nice one. No! Right. Hang on. Hang on. Hold the phone. Get back here. Get get moving, because I'm going to need you to release the hound, because... No, no. Hey, keep that going. Sorry. That was worth it. We need to get a wriggle on like now. Don't let her get away, please. She's probably going to get away, isn't she? I can already see it now. Oh! Oh, the sapling's running with her. I mean, I guess that's kind of fair. Right, you're going to be our bleed champ, so let's maybe do that. Right, you guys have got that locked down, right? Everyone else, chase her. Oh, head money, beautiful bastard. Good job. Don't get fooled now. Don't get fooled again. We'll deal with the spider. Okay, maybe we won't deal with the spider. Well, that's just rude. Straight up. That's just rude. Well then. We're going to wait right with you until you stop doing that. And then you'll be sorry. Oh, I didn't realize you had another go there, didn't you? Come over here. 
There's got to be a range to that, right? Right? Oh god, I hope she doesn't move. If she moves, she might be accident. Ac she might actively try to suicide herself to kill Hilladar. That would be an absolute bitch move, on every degree. Don't do it. Get next to him in preparation, just in case. Recover all. Let help him recover all of his blood, just in case. Okay, back off from us slightly then. Oh, she... Oh, she moved the hex to Wayne, right. I was like, she double hexed? Not quite. Wayne the Witch Hunter. I mean, killing her would kill you. I don't think that's the way that you want to go out. Although it would be kind of thing, interestingly enough. It would be kind of thing. You're surrounded, witch. What are you going to do? Put your hands up and you can come quietly. In which, I mean, I'll kill you in one shot so you don't have to feel it too much. But stop hexing my guys, please. Please stop hexing my guys. Actually, have you got nine lives? Out of curiosity, Wayne, have you got nine lives? I don't think you do. That's my uh, current concern. <laughs> no, because if you did, you would have actually survived it and probably been fine. Okay, well, I guess we'll see what happens here. Okay, are we on next? Right, rock and roll time. Bane, it's dinner time. Okay, maybe it's not dinner time. Maybe I was, sorry, I was incorrect on that regard. I don't think we're actually going to reach her in time. She's probably going to end up hexing us again. Can you get, like, here and fire? Can you get, like, here and fire? Oh, okay. It's something. He's still definitely not dead. Oh, David. Everyone's tired. Everyone's too tired. Not into it, man. Oh, Krozak Rock Justice. Is the little sapling gonna run away? Like, it was just born into this world, and it's just found that the thing that born it, bore it into this world is now very dead. Okay, well, I guess we should put it out of its misery. I wonder what you get out of a coven leader. I don't know if you get more or if it's something slightly different to getting stuff from a coven leader. I have no idea. I don't think we've killed one before. Mainly because it didn't work before. It just soft locked us. It, like, got to the coven leader's turn, and then she just doesn't move on the map. So that was the issue to begin with. But now, no issue. Good stuff. Anyone level up? Hmm, Talos did. That's good. Um, I don't see anything new there. I see the witch hair. No, there's nothing new. Unless there is something that they do drop, we just got pretty unlucky in that regard. Uh, we did get another redback poison gland, though, so we now got three of those. I feel like someone did say that three of them do does make something good. Well, anyway, she's dead now. Thanks for the seven grand. Okay. On the plus side, we're back over 60. That's good. And we're about to go slightly back under again because we are expensive as all hell. Really need to find a high-end contract. If we can get to, like, 80k, maybe, 80k would be pretty good. Man, the world is straight up dead. Or undead, you could say, I suppose. Um, there's nothing happening. I've walked up here and gone through another three settlements. Nothing! Come on, waste that. Give me something, please. <gasps> no. Well, okay, there are some contracts, but they are pretty crap. Oh, no. Wow, 1,800 crowns. I barely get out of bed for 1,800 crowns, mate. That's how much I effectively pay everyone. Do you at least have, like, anything of fame that I can take? No. Anything I can make here? Ooh, I can make more protective runes and sigils. I might do that. These are pretty handy. Um, just because they look cool and it's very Warhammer 40k. Um, and also 20 resolve against morale checks are, is pretty decent, generally speaking. But there's nothing here, once again. Man, the map has just become so disappointing. Alright, back up north we go then. Not that that's a bad thing. Okay, well, this is the only contract in the vicinity that was even close resembling a free score contract. Like, game, I'm really trying to increase our renown. Like, I would like to get to Invincible, but if you don't give me anything to do that with, I've got nothing to work with. Please, work with me here. Oh god, it's better not be in a swamp. I don't need a swamp fight today. It's in a forest. Okay, that's something. Please don't be just weird gangers. Huh. Well, it's not just weird gangers. Is it literally just Naxeras? Am I fighting 33 Naxeras? Really? I mean, okay, fine. Oh god, I'm getting whiplash from the camera. Interestingly, I don't see a single tier 1 Nagzera. They're all tier 2 at least. Like, alright. 
I mean, I get it, but all right. All right, remember, don't kill them outright just yet. Let them get here first, and then kill them outright. Saying that. Okay, move in. Tuck in a little bit. Get ready. Make ready. And now we just kind of wait. Well, that's kind of us until they come in, which I imagine is going to be any time now. God, your initiative is so high. It's so insane. Can you give some of that initiative to Darth, please? He's going to need it going forward. Can you please all attack us right up front so we can butcher you and then move through your lines and show you how inefficient you are as a group? Thank you. Skin goals would have been cool, you know, game. If you could have thrown me some skin goals my way, I would have liked that. No? Not a single one? All right. I'm just saying it. It would have been nice. Just for a change of scenery. And some new loot. You don't want to do that for me, do you? Alright. God damn it. How much can you swing? That wasn't ideal, was it? Okay, don't worry about it. There'll be time for it. Tell us? Why not? Put a little pep in your step, my friend. Pep, indeed. Nice. Okay, they're, bas they're basically all dead. Oh, what did I say about getting the 95s out of your system now? Wake up now. Okay, kind of walked over most of the corpses. I think I like to see to reorientate a little bit, but not nothing like too serious. I don't think. This is fine. He says he lines another one up. Nice one. Uh, stand there. On the plus side, we get some stuff to make stuff of. Stuff. Uh, hold that thought. I'm probably going to be able to fix that. But I just don't care. If it was like, look, sir, once again, if it was like skin ghouls, that'd be kind of interesting. Because then we can actually fight some legendary beasts. But I guess they live in swamps and we're just outside of one. If this was in a swamp, maybe. But not in this case, I'm afraid. I am afraid. I'm not afraid of that. Of these. Beings. Take that, scum. Oh. Hmm. On the plus side, once again, they're taking forever to get in as well, which is great. Hmm. They're sort of conga lining up a bit. Not too much to be an issue, though. Not really. Well, at least it's going to add a lot more kills to people's tallies. Got to do the hopping into that one area, don't they? Shame, you don't, shame the Bardish doesn't have a three swing attack as well. That would be a bit much. I feel like they'd be like, yeah, the Bardish would be broken if we did that. And I'd be like, yeah, I, I guess you'd be correct saying that. It would be a little bit broken. Uh, Edmund? Might need to deal with that sooner rather than later, please. I mean, you basically did. You basically did. Good job. See ya, bro. Oh. Tier 3 Naxeras. And so what? Who decided that? But it would become a problem. Alright. Great stuff. Uh, Velasca. Lock and load. You're basically gone. I mean, you are gone. As are you. And you two. Are not a problem anymore. Speaking of problems. Ah, maybe don't kill them that far away, just in case. Uh, Knight Rider, do not get eaten, please. I know it's a it's a big ask. I know. Just don't get eaten. Right. Well. Make sure that one's not going to come back. I mean, he still might. Not bad, not bad. Got to really are still coming up. They want the world to know. Ah, yeah, all right. Time to go get our boy back. Do a memento of Paul Pabot. Plus, I go deal with that. That's happening a lot. I'm going to ignore that. Ah, oh, tree. Tree. Not again with the trees. Right, they're all running at least. Uh, right. Can you get... 
Not dead. All right. Right, he's half injured. I need to lock him down. Don't mind me coming through. And fast. And how. Well, at least you guys don't come back from the dead. That'd be pretty creepy, actually. Alright, see you later. We destroyed your entire population. I think you realize that you were outnumbered from the get-go. Well, not outnumbered by numbers. But by power? Superiority? Hmm. Yes. Quite. Okay, get in. Lock him down. I think he might bleed out, to be honest. I think Knight Rider might accidentally just fall out with him. Which should be kind of funny. Kind of funny. Uh, aim there? Alright, let's kill that one. Man, I feel kind of sorry for him in a way. They are absolutely trounced. Ah, uh, Araldus, get out of his stomach, will you? Okay. That's cool, I guess. Get out of there, you silly bastard. He literally fell. He, he literally fell out of him. He literally fell out of him. That's that's great. I was like, well, guess I'm guess I'm getting eaten for the rest of my life. It's just like, oh nope, I'm just gonna slo slosh out. Ugh. You really were reborn today, buddy, and not in a good way. All right, call that a pretty easy win to be fair. I don't think we even really took much damage. Like zero 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 fifty one zero 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 fifty seven. Yeah, in total we took one hundred and eight damage, which. I assume most of it was armor. All of it was armor, so we took no hit point damage. Oh, and Caspian leveled up. Oh. I mean, yeah, sure. Oh, thanks for the two crowns. You're really spoiling me here. Whoa. Well, let's get back to get our measly pay, which will take us for another two days. On the plus side, Caspian's now 18, which is great. Level 18, not age 18. That'd be weird. This entire time, he's like the de facto, like, second... He's like the right-hand man, and he's being like... Quite young this entire time. Uh, let's get that up to 80. That's absolutely fine. I mean, you're over the 100 mark, so that's helping with your muscularity. Anyway, your initiative is always going to be crap, so don't worry about it. I guess let's pump this up. 45. I'll take it. Well, on the plus side, next zero trophies for everyone. So everyone's resolve is a little bit better, and also the resolve of the people we fight in melee will be a little bit worse. Although most of the frontline did already have them, or they had, like, something else which was better. Um, but I did manage to find the right, right amount of people to give it to, so that's pretty good, at least. I'm gonna go up north. There's nothing going down in the Midlands anymore. It's, like, dead to rights. Not even, like, undead to rights. It's just dead, man. Okay, well, at least there was a contract in Kaltenberg. Is it Kaltenberg? Kaltenberg. But it's not quite... Well, I mean, it's orcs at the end of the day. Well, I'm absolutely fine with fighting orcs. Always good to put some more green skins in the ground, but at the same time, it's a bit meh. It's almost like the game's gone. They're now too powerful. Are we really that close? They're now too powerful. We're going to have to nerf them some way, and that's not by throwing more enemies at them. It's by giving them no contracts and no money, so eventually they'll run out. <laughs> that's one weird way to nerf us, I guess. Oh, it's goblins. Ugh. Come on, game. You know we destroy goblins now. We don't need to show that off. All right, fine. How are you feeling? I guess it's time for your great return? Oh man, I was chasing them for some time. Come on then. Oh, you're actually running into... I assume it's because they're too far away to shoot us. Well, unfortunately, we're superior to you, so I'm going to show you that I can shoot you from where I'm standing, you little bastards. Also, you did kind of just... Look, you walked into this. Right, we're used to these Goblin Wolf Riders, man. I know that you guys haven't fought us before, but we fought many a Wolf Rider, and we're just not interested. So how about you just charge at us directly, and let's just get this over with, eh? Hmm. Well, he's listening. That's nice. Wow, they actually... Maybe they just made a suicide pact before the start of this fight, and just went, Okay, we are dying, so let's go out with some sort of respect. Fair play? I mean, we've killed, what, seven of them before? Ah, you dick. You'll regret that at some point. Okay, go in that. <laughs> it really never gets old. Uh, break him out. Or don't break him out. That's cool. Whew, 
god, like, it, the, the damage and the noise that, that does, it, it just sounded like it was so instantaneous. Obviously, it wasn't, but... Okay, in we go. Oh, there's no one there. Alright. Hop in, then. You still got it. You still got the moves. Like the, I think the biggest issue here is the shaman in the snow. But we fought goblins in the snow now. We're we're without it. We're used to it, mostly. I think if I was the goblins, I'd be very surprised at how many of them got obliterated in ranged. Because wow, like a third of their group were dead before we even got even close to us, which is great. You love to see it. Oh, you think you're uh, smart by sending all your men down there, do you? I've got bad news bears for you, buddy. All right, good one. Man, oh man, oh man. Man, oh man. I love it. It's so good. Once again, if you told me when we started this campaign that the raiders were going to be more like the rangers, I wouldn't have really believed you. And yet, here we are. Here we are. The proof is indeed in the pudding. God, as that blood pool slowly seeps out under the wolf. That's that's brutal. Man, my jack. All right. Don't mess with that, man. Cool. Well, is there anyone you want to power up whilst we're in the city? You know what? Why not? Let's power up our ranged even more. Man, this is going to be like a, the quickest of all fights. Well, the quickest like 20 goblin fight. Didn't even see there was a guy there, honestly. As if you hit a five. Fair play to you. Oh. See ya. Okay. Who's next on the chopping block? Too far away? Yeah, too far away. Yeah, that gives me... That's no surprise that you've ran. No surprise. Okay. Kill a shaman, will you? We actively hate shamans, remember? All our homies hate shamans. Can you shoot that one? Well, at least they're leaving with a bit of a memory of this place, and also a gaping wound in their chest. I'll take it. But, oh! You dodged that, or dodge this. Okay, fair enough, you dodged an 89, 9, 86 in a row. Some would say that you are gifted to, uh, dodge, and also maybe you should survive this fight. I mean, you're not going to, but hey, just for a bit longer. Just for a bit longer, you held on. Until you met Torfin, of course. Yeah, that was very much like painting by the numbers more than anything. Like, it was fine. I don't think we barely took any damage once again. We're just becoming so, like, other than, like, Darth going down in that first fight, which, to be fair, was probably the hardest fight of the day so far. Um, it's been pretty straightforward. I mean, it's been pretty varied. Like, every fight has been pretty varied today. Like, we haven't fought, like, the same group over and over and over again, which is nice, at least. But contracts have been a bit crap. The famed items, like, in... The armor smiths and like the weapon smiths is being a bit crap. Eh. I thought I said Tintin. And I was like, what, what's Tintin doing on the goblin side? That's kind of weird. Okay, back over 70, which isn't bad. I mean, it's going to go back under in a second when we pay everyone. What is it now? 1373. Wow. I'm going to go up to. Oh, yeah, I can't. They hate us. I forgot about that. We did kind of attack that mercenary group. They're kind of hostile. Not like completely hostile, or as that song goes, fucking hostile. But they're relatively hostile so i guess i'm not going up north i guess i'm going back to the midlands this place is a straight up mess by the way i'm seeing undead walking around everywhere and the armies are nowhere to be found i mean you could literally hire me to do it i'm not going to do it for free though what's this oh haunt bro i literally just left there it seemed fine when i was leaving i mean for eight, eight grand is eight grand just give me some champions to kill Give me some fame gear, please. I need some fame gear so I can go back out into the wild and kill everything in my path. I mean, I think we can already kind of do that. I just want to be sure, you know? Also, whilst I'm here, anything new in the armorer? Nope. Anything new in the weaponsmith? Solid no. Okay, great. Thanks for disappointing me once again. I guess this is how we sort of end the episode a little bit. I think I'll probably actually do... Well, we'll see how quick the fights are. If the fights are like we blitzkrieg through them in no time flat, probably finish the contract by the end of this episode. If they're quite long, probably do like one fight and then finish it off at the start of the next episode. And then we should have hopefully made enough bang for our buck. We can then go back out into the wilds. Probably do the Witcher's Hut, I'd say. I'd say the Witcher's Hut is probably the next one on the cards. 
Um, and then either the Ijirok or the Sunken Library. Going to the Sunken Library gives us a chance to go back down to the arena, because I know quite a lot of people wanted to do that again and get their characters up to uh, a higher resolve, I suppose. So we could do that next episode, perhaps. We'll see. Let me know down in the comments what you want to do. Well, Hornheim, you look like, other than, you know, the parading undead down here, Hornheim looks like you're doing pretty well. Oh, no, you're being besieged. I mean, it would help if you had walls. Do you have walls? Well, there's your first mistake, mate. To be honest, Militia guy. Militia, you can just stay out of this. Who is that? Uh, no, that's just a regular guy. I don't think there was a champion, which I'm a little bit disappointed in. Um, Militia, it'll be better if you just sit this one out. I mean, feel free if you want the glory to come and join us, but I don't think you're here for the glory. I think you're here because you're terrified at the prospect of your town getting destroyed by the undead, which is understandable, and it's a very regular thing to think, but we're not regular people. Huh. Maybe he's not either. I mean, bows aren't going to do shit to the undead. Just saying. Apparently, ooh, I mean, he, he actually got kind of close, to be fair to him. I don't want to give these guys more power. Why would I do that? This is just going to be a waiting game, isn't it? Just a waiting game. Oh, two Necros events. I didn't see any lords. I hope. You know how much, you know how we feel about those guys? Not great, is the answer. Although, whenever we get to kill one, it does feel pretty good. A little bit like revenge. A little bit. Like fire? Yeah, okay. All right. Go away. No. Go go further away. Okay, that made it worse. I mean, that militia was barely even, like, born. Oh, at least that one got a chance. He literally got the fear struck into him, and he was like, Nope. Please, no. Oh, nice. Good job. Where'd it go? No, really. Where, where'd it go? All right, cool. It's just kind of gone now. Uh, that's actually fine. Don't mind that one. Damn it. Uh, hop in there, please. Valny. Nice hit. Got old Slamu. Right then, fire. Okay, worst things have happened. You're okay. You're alright, don't worry. Oh, the Jester hat. Me mate, you're at full health. Like, that wouldn't have mattered, regardless of who you just stabbed. You weirdo. Actually being mean at this point. Oh, there he is. Just hold that thought. This guy's got some balls. Fair play to him. Okay. Never mind. Right, his armor, you could say, is gone. Who can I power up? Who's going to help me out here? Oh, wow, he got through that. Ah, uh, look. He's the last person you need to net, alright? He's not a... Well, actually, he is, a, he is, like, someone you should keep an eye on. Because he will ruin your day by helping his friends. Nice. We worked so fast then, the game couldn't keep up. Good job. Okay. That's not good. Well, even though they're not Necros Phantom Lords, we've still got to be kind of careful of them at the end of the day. You never know. You never... No. And of course, you don't resolve check either, so... Us destroying their entire group, they don't really care about it. They're not really here for it. That was very unfortunate. I mean... Start punching. It was it was a, it was kind of a joke, but you actually did punch it. Uh, you know what? Fine. Great dodging, great dodging, Barry. Good work, honestly. 
Hmm, less so. Don't worry about it. Or maybe worry about it a bit, actually. Oh, mate, come on now. This man is dead. This man is dead. Bloody Christ. All right. Rock him. Don't get me wrong. All those are quite low chances. But still. Man, this guy's having, like, the worst work day of his life. Sorry, buddy. I think you're dead. Not to just, like, call it out like that. But I think you're dead. Just don't join these guys. When you go down, don't take any regrets with you. Just go down. Not Don't, don't get back up. We've already got a lot on our plates, okay? Great. Good job. Uh, can I say, like, sick? That one. Uh, no. Ugh, disgusting. Go away. Okay, you all dealt with at least. But I enough, that might work better, because that means that Bane will go that way, which I kind of want him to. I want him to get away from all the undead. Uh, vampires being a problem, you know? Because they are going to cause problems. Oh, pal. How disappointing. No, don't go back that way. God damn it. Fine, then. You want to play that game? Let's play that game. Take it back off again. Come on. You know the rules, and so do I. Wow, you're actually doing quite a lot. Damage. Okay, it's basically dead. Basically dead. Fair play for trying. Fair play for trying. It's not going to work, but fair play for trying. Who's going to need the boost? Boost up. Okay, well now we're just picking on Krozak. Ugh, that noise always goes into my headphones and I hate it so much. So much. How much point are you guys moving anywhere? Nice one. Mate, go down. Thank you. Okay, pushing him ever so slightly away, further and further every time. I'll take it. Uh, move away. Like, into this little gap here. Maybe we'll just go for, like, you know, the other ones instead. Good bleed. Okay, this fight was a lot more drawn out than I expected, but I guess... The Necros Advance, as always, are being annoying little bastards. Because they always do that, regardless. I think he's still going for that hole and hunt. Which is fine if he wants to go and do that. That's great. Okay, protect the slingers. Literally, it's the slingers they're going for. So protect them. Can't throw that far. Damn. Good boy. Nice one, Bane. Eh, not so much nice one these guys. Okay, he's like... Where are you going? Where are you going? Weird flex, but okay. I guess that's what we're dealing with. That thing's basically gone, right? Okay, line him up at least. Somebody please kill this thing. Okay. Somebody please kill this thing. Thank you, Rust. Problem solved. There we go. Feels good when we kill them, but it is a pain in the arse, honestly. Seal it. Thank you. Okay. A bit more of a difficult fight than I was expecting to begin with, mainly because Necros events are going to Necros event at the end of the day, but I'll take that stuff and call it that. Yeah, I mean, the militia, I mean, that militia that got his head decapitated instantaneously, he probably was the luckiest out of the lot, because, you know, 
At least he didn't get to see the rest of what happened. I mean, he definitely didn't save his town by any means. He didn't offer any sort of help whatsoever. He just died. Um, but at least he'll think that he helped. He did not help. Alright, oh, do not sell the famed one just yet. I might need that later down the road. Well, we're basically at 70k, which is not bad. Uh, I think I am coming up to around the hour mark. Uh, I will see what the other group is that's coming up first. Let me see what the next, like, undead horde is. Okay, upon checking, we've definitely gone over the hour mark from checking out the first part of that video. Also, as I mentioned in the very start of the episode uh, through text, OBS decided to record all of that completely zoomed in, which is now resolved because it decided to update itself about a day ago and change all the settings a little bit. So, unfortunately, it was a little bit zoomed in for this episode, but now we're back to normal, and it shouldn't happen going forward, so apologies for that. But at least it didn't really cut off much of a screen. It just cut off, like, the tops of these more than anything, so I can't complain too much. But we are over an hour mark, so I will continue this contract at the start of the next episode. We'll get that finished, and then we might probably go and do a legendary location as to which one we will do. I mean, I'll leave that up to you guys. If I don't get, like, a full consensus by the end of it, I'll just pick one and do it. Anyway, but let's get on with the roll call. So, once again, another episode where nobody died, which is good for us, but I guess it's also bad for the people waiting on the list, as it were, because <laughs> it's been about, what, three episodes since anyone's died now? Maybe four episodes? It's been pretty good. It's been a pretty good, like, run. Uh, we did take a permanent injury, but I think he's more or less back to normal now, so... It should be fine. Let's get on with roll call then. So, Headman, you're on 114 kills. Not bad. Almost level 15 and another perk on the way. Birdsalt, you're on 240 kills. I think you're going to be the first person to get to level 20 at this rate, as long as you don't die. So, 240. Talos, you're on 8 kills. Much better than you were going. And you also killed Barad the Headhunter. You hunted his head instead. Torfin, you're on 251 kills. Nice one. Almost 17. Caspian, you're on 328. You're also level 18 at the same time. Rust, you're on 48 kills. Almost level 12. Zygna, you're on 203 kills. Not bad at all. Man, 500 days exactly. I mean, the helmet looks cool. Like, I haven't seen much of a change, to be quite honest. You haven't really been getting hit as much as I thought you were going to get hit. It figures I give you the helmet where you reflect damage back to the attacker, and this is an episode where you barely got hit. So, classic move, really. Katate, you're on 47 kills, but you are being an excellent, excellent shield person. So keep it up, buddy. Uh, Valiant, you're on 39 kills. And also, you completely destroyed an Elite. I think that was the last episode, though. will be pretty close to level 12, so we'll get on with that pretty soon. Hilda, you're on 395. You're so close. You're 5 or 400. 5 or 400. Come on, you can do it. I believe in you. Madjack, you're on 139 kills. Still kicking it, and Bane's still alive. Sister, you're on 124 kills. A bit harder than easy as 123. Easy as 124, though, doesn't really go. Quack, you're on 12. That's gone better. Theodore, you're still on 3 kills. Like, honestly, amazing. Amazing. Velasca, you're on 150 kills. Wayne, you're on 297. You're three off 300. Almost part of the 300 club. Gregory, you're on 64. It would help if you could do something about Darth's injury, but obviously you don't control when the event happens, so I guess we'll just see what happens. Uh, Barry, you're over 200 finally now, so now you're part of a 200 crew. Welcome to the 200 crew. You didn't also lose your prosthetic finger in the snow. I imagine it'd be very hard to find if you just dropped off in the snow. Krozak, you're on 314. I mean, you're kind of slowly catching up to Caspian. Interesting. Darth, you're on 126 kills. You've now got two permanent injuries, but I mean, hey, to say you've killed 126 people with your fists, it's kind of expected in some ways. Bayard, you're on 166. Not bad. Artyom, you're on 56. Knight Rider, you're on 220. Also part of a 200 crew. Aurelis, you're on 223. Now it's a race between the two of you. And David, you're on 17. And you killed a Redback Spider. That's pretty impressive. You did also almost lose your head, though, to a Necros event. So we just got to be a little bit more careful with that. But next episode, we'll finish this contract and then see what legendary location to go and pilfer and plunder. And we'll see if we lose anyone and see if we see any new people. It is a shame we are locked at 25. I feel like it used to be 27. It would have been cool if it was 27. So we could have seen a few new faces since. But you never know what might happen in the next episode. So, people waiting. Fingers crossed to see people die, which is kind of a weird thing to say. And people in, keep yourselves alive. Other than that, as, as always, if you enjoyed this episode, feel free to check out the rest of the channel. I'm sure there's more than you enjoy. Feel free to subscribe, hit the notification bell. If you enjoyed this entire ep episode and series and all the Battle Brothers episodes so far on the channel, and you're not subscribed yet, just, just click the button. It's right down here. Just click the button. Easy as that. And it really does help the channel this growth, and it also lets me know that I'm doing the right thing in what I'm doing on my series on the channel. If you can't wait till then, feel free to join the Discord. It is linked in the description below and on the channel itself. Come talk to us. Happy Northerners. And feel free to support the North even further by buying us a cup of on coffee.
Ciao for now, guys and girls. Ciao for now from the wankers. Until next time.